Hey everybody, Luke Margolis here with Dr. Stephen Sherris again from Atlantic Health System. And as we've done every week now, we're trying to bring you the latest on what we know about the Omicron variant. And it's really now growing prevalence, not just nationally, but specifically in our region too. Dr. Sherris, last we spoke, the number of, of tests we were seeing um, that uh, came from the Omicron variant was, was small but growing. Where are we now? Well, in just a short span of a week, Luke, we've seen the Omicron variant be 3% of positive cases to greater than 70% in New Jersey and elsewhere in the country. So it's overtaken Delta in its transmissibility with case counts doubling every two days. Wow. So it's uh, quite prevalent and, and that speaks to its transmissibility. So what really is our best defense against this? Because obviously right now with the holidays coming, everybody wants to know how do we stay safe? Well, quite simply, now is the time. If you're, if you're not vaccinated, now is the time. Otherwise, you're going to get sick, and you can get very sick if you've never been vaccinated. For those people who have been vaccinated and are more than six, at, six months out from the mRNA vaccine series or two months out from J&J, &J, time to get a booster. Boosters will reduce the likelihood you will get infected with the Omicron, Omicron virus to a great extent. In both cases primary series and Omicron, if you're vaccinated, the likelihood of you getting very sick to the point where you need to be in the hospital mm -hmm. on a breathing machine or, God forbid, dying is next to zero. But mild illness now, and people need to understand this, mild illness is defined as, you know, three days at home with a high fever like 103 and unable to sleep. So Not at work, none of that stuff. You're out of work, you're out of commission. So you want to avoid getting sick. The other task loop as we've spoken about, is protecting the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. The elderly are particularly vulnerable. And as people get together for the holidays, that's a significant issue. So if you're looking to entertain this weekend, perhaps you have family coming in from out of town who have to travel to get here, what, how do you give yourself and your relatives some peace of mind that you're able to do that safely? What's the best way to do that? So you can gather safely indoors with a small group of people if you know their vaccination status. If you add testing on top of that with antigen testing, that's a good way to keep people who are potentially transmissible from transmitting it to others. So get tested, get vaccinated, know who you're with. And of course, if you find yourself in a public place indoors, now's the time to up your mask game. Be very diligent, cover your nose and your, ma and your mouth with a mask. Uh, don't get too close to people that you don't know. Wash your hands, stay six, six feet away as we've been saying. It's tedious, but it's, those are the things that will work and keep you safe. So if you need information on where to get vaccinated, where to get tested, really the easiest place if you're in, in New Jersey right now, go to AtlanticHealth.org. We've got all the information on our website. Um, as, as Dr. Sherris will tell you, it's a busy time for this kind of thing right now. So you kind of got to pack your patients a little bit, right? That's right. Just uh, if There are places to get vaccinated, both primary series and booster series, in all of our markets through Atlantic Health. Uh, there are, is testing available. If you can find antigen testing in your drugstore through mail orders, they are in short supply, mm -hmm. but grab onto them if you can to keep yourself safe. We're predicting this uh, particular surge uh, to last for about a month, peaking in the middle of January. The more we can keep each other protected, the easier it will be to get, uh, get through it, and we will get through it because we've done it before. We can control this. Test, vaccines, boosters, masking, hand washing. Dr. Sherris, thank you so much for joining us today. And folks, we got uh, more of these updates coming for you every week. As we learn more, we will share it with you. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays.